Hey everybody, welcome to Build Fly Go. So it's a pretty exciting day. Um, as promised, this is the unboxing video for the RV10 fuselage. You saw, or maybe you saw, <laughs> our quick uh, live video from when it arrived in the truck and uh, managing to get it down the driveway and into the garage. And here we go, opening it up and it was pretty pretty exciting day. It's a huge box, right? This box is eight feet by four feet by uh, I don't know, call it four or five feet, and it has the what you see there is the the big part is the canopy top. There is a spar. Uh, I think that's the flap spar with the holes in it on the top there. Um, that was a replacement flap spar. When I got my wing kit, I had two left left flap spars <laughs> instead of a left and a right and a right. So that's a replacement. But it's been pretty pretty exciting. We haven't made a ton of progress on it. We've got the, um, you'll also see that there are some wing skins in there. So we've made progress on the left set of wing skins. Um, those are actually getting riveted right now. And hopefully in this past week's um, build video, you're going to see us riveting that. Um, I do have to order a double offset riveter. But um, we're, we're getting as much done as we can uh, before we get there. So, yeah, so this is just the unloading. There's nothing terribly exciting going on here. Well, I guess it is terribly exciting, but it's really just unloading, trying to not make or trying to keep the mess under control. There's a lot of paper, um, and we saved all that paper. So here's a, a, a tip for the winter. We saved all of that paper to cover things in the workshop um, because we aren't going to be able to prime things while outside. So I save all of the paper for covering all of the workbenches and all the parts um, so there's not overspray everywhere. There's still going to be overspray everywhere. You just, I, I, I don't know what the trick is, I guess making a, a paint booth. Um, but I can't seem to avoid getting overspray everywhere. But the paper helps. We've had some unseasonally uh, warm days uh, in Wisconsin this past week, so I've been able to do a lot of priming outside, and I'm trying to get ahead of myself and trying to get all of that priming done. Um, but we know that we have, you know, four to five months of winter coming up where it's going to be way too cold to prime. That canopy top there that uh, you saw us move um, is surprisingly heavy. I'm used to the, the fiberglass parts not being quite so heavy. Um, so that's a really sturdy piece, which is good. <laughs> um, it's, I guess it's important for the for that to be sturdy. You'll notice we don't have the windows uh, or the doors. So the windows come in the finish kit. Um, I'm sorry, the doors come in the finish kit. Uh, the windows I deleted from the kit. Um, the windows that Vans ships are perfectly perfectly fine, but for just uh, I think it's like an extra hundred bucks or something like that. Um, I'm going to order the C. Bailey ones. Uh, C. Bailey is a company that makes uh, transparencies and some other parts, airplane parts. Um, and their uh, RV-10 windows are cut to size. And the feedback I've gotten is the Vans transparencies, you're going to spend a lot of time trimming them to, to make them actually fit into the, the fiberglass piece. And the C. Bailey ones um, basically just fit right out of the box. They're They're perfect shape and they just fit. So I figured I'd save myself some uh, stressful, obnoxious time of cutting uh, plexiglass. That is, uh, you know, I think the, the, the big plexi sheet for the front uh, is something like $400 or something like that. So it's, you, you really don't want to mess that up. So save ourselves there. Um, you're seeing uh, basically as as we unpack things where I'm checking them off the 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 inventory list, the pick list, uh, we're making sure that everything has arrived. And it was actually pretty good. Uh, we had um, one little trim piece uh, that we got two lefts instead of a left and a right. So Vans has already shipped us the right and it has arrived. And I also had a bit of a hiccup with the uh, aileron pieces. I don't, don't know if you remember earlier videos. Um, I damaged the right aileron, aileron nose rib and the right aileron skin um, while uh, working on it when I should have just ended for the day and gone to bed. Um, you'll, you'll learn as you're building an airplane that there, there gets to the, a point where 
you're no longer effective and you start um, creating more work for, for later, right? You're, you're tired and, you know, you, your head's not in the game and it's time to stop. And I'm relearning that on this kit, that sometimes you need to realize that, okay, you should stop now. <laughs> you either don't have the, the tool that you need or you're just tired and it's time to, you know, call it a night. Um, and unfortunately, uh, I did damage that skin and that nose rib and Vans shipped um, those to me. But you will, unfortunately, well, you probably won't learn with new kits. Um, the ailerons have changed in the RV-10 and Vans doesn't have very much stock on in old aileron parts. So I managed, they managed to find the nose rib, but the skin they didn't have. So I'm going to, uh, I guess clean up the skin I have, and uh, I'll show you in the in the aileron video um, when we build that in a little more detail. There's an extra hole in there that we're just going to cover up and put an extra uh, rivet um, for the structural side of things. But anyway, so Vans shipped me, unfortunately, the newer parts, uh, which I can't use. So I ordered um, replacements. But anyway, so <laughs> that was me rambling about uh, the, the unboxing. Thanks, thanks for watching. Uh, this was a, a fun uh, fun day there for sure and we're starting hopefully we'll be start on the fuselage pretty soon please subscribe it does help we'll talk to you soon